Shalom, thus says the Lord, the riches of his glory shall manifest. According to Romans chapter 9, verse 23, at that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto glory. He had prepared afore unto glory. Beforehand, in advance, he has prepared the riches of his glory, and it shall manifest. It shall manifest. The riches of his glory, the doxa glory, will manifest, and it is in abundance. It will amaze many. It will deliver many because of your riches, because of your financial growth, which, which is the financial breakthrough you had been waiting upon the Lord for. You wanted the big fat wedding. You wanted the luxurious lifestyle, the lavish apartment, the sea view apartment. The Lord God says that these are the riches of glory and it shall manifest because now you are the vessels of honor, you are the vessels of mercy. Because I am the vessel of his glory, the vessel of his mercy, the riches of his glory are always manifesting. The desires of my heart are being fulfilled. The desires of my heart are always to bless many, to fulfill their desires, the desires which are for the Lord's glory, where there shall be deliverance for them, where there shall be salvation for them, where there shall be salvation. If you see me as a rich prophetess, it shall deliver you. The spirit of stagnancy will leave you. The spirit of delays shall leave you. The spirit of poverty will leave you and you shall be set free. So my prosperity will deliver you. My prosperity will set you free. The riches of glory that I have will deliver you from the wickedness of the kingdom of darkness. So the light in me because of the prosperity, the prosperity, the money that I carry is also the light. It's the spirit. You see my money, you see my lifestyle, you see me as the rich woman of God, the rich prophetess of God, the rich vessel of mercy, the rich riches of glory, where I am the mercy seat. When you see this, when you know that I am made rich by the Lord God, I am blessed with the desires of my heart. And it is in so much abundance that automatically, because of the spirit of mercy, because of the merciful seed, because of the spirit of finances, because of his glory, there shall be no more spiritual attacks on you. There shall be peace flowing. Because even the finances, they are anointed. My money is anointed. Whatever you bring on my altar here, it becomes anointed. And that's how you are blessed. The tithings you bring on my altar, it blesses the rest of your 90%. When you sow your 10% here, the rest of the 90% is used for the Lord's glory mightily. It is blessed and it multiplies. Whatever 10% you bring here, it is connected to the riches of his glory, to the mercy seed. And that's how the 90% remains under the control of God to multiply, not to be stolen, not for the leakages, not for poverty, not for stagnancy, not to be abused, but to bring glory for his people, for you, your family, your sons and daughters, your parents shall be blessed, your siblings shall be blessed, your spouse shall be blessed, your grandparents and everyone whom you love and everyone whom you want to bless, they shall be blessed. That's the glory, the riches where you shall be blessed because I am made rich by the living God. When I receive it, you shall see the fragrance of his glory, the freedom, the deliverance. The wicked spirits shall leave you. You shall be delivered. You shall be set free. You shall be anointed. That's how the mercy works. The vessels of honor, when you are connected to me, when you give, 
you also receive. You receive my mercy by giving here. And once you are connected to the mercy seat, you receive freedom. That's how I deliver people. Either I take finances from them or I bless the poor and needy people, they are delivered. And that's how the salvation works. Since the last few days, I am working on the salvation of a family by giving them continuously and clearing their debts. That's how their debts got cleared. Zero loan, zero EMI, zero borrowed, nothing borrowed. Their debts are completely cancelled and that's the moment of celebration on 31st July. I celebrated it in this manner that the loans were cleared, whereas the head of the family had tried to commit suicide. It was a suicide attempt, but in the same, in the same moment, he planned to clear all his debts and then commit suicide so that there won't be any burden on his family. But the good news is that my angels were already guarding him. He got saved and the result, the testimony came out of this testing is that his loans, the loans of his family were cleared. Not only this, but there was a lot of finances left for him, his mother, his family. That's the good news. When is the time for you to see my glory, it will benefit you in such a way that the Lord God will show me as the rich person for them who don't believe. They believe in my Jesus because he has made me rich. My finances flows from me to them. Their poverty leaves them and they are amazed at the works of the Lord's hands because he's merciful. They believe and they wonder and they are amazed to know that the prophetess has come to rescue them. Either you people come to me or I am sent by the Lord for the rescue. So when I am sent to them, they are delivered seeing that how much more the Lord God keeps giving me. That's how the riches of his glory, they deliver them. This is how the family was delivered and they are still amazed because I am still rich. So it never ends. The riches of his glory are abundant, plenteous, overflowing and never ending. It never ends. The Lord God doesn't fail to give me my reward, to bless me with the riches because of the mercy seed, because of my merciful heart, he blesses me. The 90% goes to them for salvation. 10% remains, remains for me on me because for the anointing, I also need finances. I need to have the clothing. I need to have the lifestyle, which is the need, which is the glory of the Lord. I testify that the Lord God has never failed to bless me financially because I am his mercy seat. So riches of his glory, they manifest in my life, in the life of my family because I am the true servant and the ark of his covenant. I am the ark of the Lord's covenant. When people are connected to me, when people are connected to the ark of covenant, my heart, they are automatically blessed. And that's how you will also see the riches of his glory when I am blessed, you shall be delivered, you shall be made, made fruitful, you shall be blessed amazingly. Hallelujah.